Now this is not um, the end of our of this um, model or of this um, functions that we are writing, but let's go ahead and run our um, our training model because as I said we need to write one more function this is very ex um, very important so this is for when you want to serve examples so when you want to use your model for predictions that's when this function comes into play but for the training parts we are done writing all our functions so we can run this model and um, let's fix some because I know that there's there are definitely errors in our code so let's go ahead and then run our function and then fix some errors. So we have tfx dot component import um, trainer, and then I'm going to import another thing. Well, you see how we use it. So it's tfx dot proto import trainer pp2, and then I'll say trainer is equal to trainer. And then our model file. So the model file name is the trainer model file. Our examples is equal to the transform dot outputs. Then is the transformed examples. And then our tr sorry, our transform graph. So our transformation graph, transformation graph is just the preprocessing function that we just used. So our its outputs transform graph, and then our schema. Our schema is schema gen dot outputs, and if you guess right, schema. And then our train arguments is equal to trainer bp2 dot. So this is where the trainer bp2 gives the the arg arguments that we talked about. So yeah, so the trainer uh, is something like a key value pair. So um, we just specify our where what is the name of our train. Um, This train, oh no, this is supposed to be not square bracket, this is supposed to be round. Then um, the evaluation arguments does occur called to trainer bp2 dot train arguments, and then that one is splits, and then it's eval, right? So yeah, that's it. So we can say context dot run, and then let us wait for errors. Trainer. So let's see our errors, and then let's before we check for errors, uh, before we see if we have any errors, I'll just go through this code again, and see if there is anything we need to do. Um, Oh, I think this is a mistake. Um, I just spotted um, one mistake here. Um, it's transform outputs dot trans. I think this should be transformed feature spec. Yeah, transformed feature spec. Um, what else? Let me see. Yeah, also file names. It's supposed to be just file names, not TF record file names. Um, what else? Um, yes. Um, oh, yeah. Um, dot oh. It's supposed to be hub dot so we we load and then wrap it in a keras layer. So it's supposed to be hub dot keras layer, not hub dot load. 
Um, yeah, so let's go on and run this thing. Hopefully, um, it says train, which is supposed to be in quotes. So run again, and then what? Um, I go eval instead. Let me see. Oh, this is supposed to be eval axe. Okay, hopefully there is no error. Okay, so yeah, let's just um, wait for some few minutes or yeah, so we can see that our model has run. So this is the um the model like the layers and what's yeah so we can see that our model is running and just off straight so this is the number of parameters there's 256 million parameters but most of it is the embedding layer so we are only training 76,000 parameters which is not much so most of the parameters here are due to the embedding layer that we imported in our work and uh, you see we are already up to 80% accuracy which is good for this model so yeah I'm just gonna stop um, the training now because now it seems we have fixed all the errors in our code so if your model is still not running just go to the github page and then copy that code and then or you can try and figure out what you, what you made what error you made so I'm just gonna stop the training and then we will continue um, writing our next final function in the um, in our last model. So just keep watching.